Hey there, welcome back to my channel! My name is Georgina, I am the Honest Vocal Coach. Today is the day that we look at best live vocals and it's Beyonce! What the heck is Tender and Mouth? I liked her voice. You are the things she's got going on. You don't need to put so many notes in. Constricting sound. That was shocking. Baby. Baby. Oh dear. <laughs> so let's dive in. Okay, good start. Very clean vocals, no flaws whatsoever there. Looks like she's just about to step into a pool of water. Um, really strong vocals, almost gospel-like. Well, I've not heard her do that before. That was very classical, wasn't it? Very high up, very strong head voice there. Very well controlled. Notice the fan move at the front. Making sure that the fan is on bay at all times. That's one heck of a distortion there. That growl in the voice, you've got to be so specific with that because if you do it wrong, you are going to hurt yourself. But she's still singing, so I'm guessing she's doing it right. Not really a fan of that one, if I'm honest. Just a little bit too pushy for me. It's quite awesome, though, to see Ed Sheeran right next to her. How cool is that? Almost African, this one. I've noticed that there's an entire, like band behind her and they're all female so girl power and all that um yeah interesting not heard to do this before <laughs> 
Okay, let's just pause and talk a little bit about distortion. So for those of you that don't know how distortion is actually done, what happens is you have the vocal folds themselves. So these are my magic vocal folds here. Then you have the false vocal folds above which are there as a protection mechanism for, you know, it's like having eyelashes so stuff doesn't go in your eyes. And the false vocal folds above the actual vocal folds themselves, the false vocal folds and above that, that's what you use to create the distortion. You're getting extra flesh to vibrate together, which creates that kind of grit in the sound. Now, if you don't do it right, you are going to hurt yourself. It shouldn't actually be the vocal folds themselves that are doing it. It should be the flesh above that. Now, I'm personally not a fan of that really kind of angry growl distortion. It's it's not something that I can do very well without pain. So it's got to be something that she can do comfortably or she wouldn't do it in the first place. a good riff really clean clear ah technically brilliant oh yeah you'll notice i like the clear tones more than the real sort of distortion i'm not saying it's not good it's just my preference fans <laughs> there's a definite thing here there's a lot of fans she likes it windy song do you know so many of my students have tried that out because of the constant key changes and how belty it gets it's like a challenge to get to the top Oh, fine! That pulling back there. Ooh, 
Well, that was a really interesting selection of clips. Loving the fans throughout, really. Um, she has such a distinctive tone. She does overdo the little growl thing. Um, but some people love that, some people don't. I think it's a bit Marmite, really. She's got a good selection of songs. And, uh, yeah, really good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe, give me the thumbs up, ring the bell and all that stuff. I'll be back soon. See you later, loves. Bye, loves.